this out. Hi Stampers, today we're going to make this waterfall card and it is so much fun to make and it's so much fun to give because it's an interactive card and I made this video a long time ago on this type of card and I thought it was time for a remake so we're going to make the waterfall card. Okay, so the pieces I'm going to use today are the black card stock and this is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half and then the designer paper which is the Wicked Fun designer paper pack this is cut at four by five and a quarter and then you're going to cut four pieces of Whisper White and these are cut at one and three quarter by one and three quarter and you're going to need four pieces and then you're going to cut four black pieces at two by two and then you're also going to need a piece of black and this strips cut at one inch by four and a quarter and then I have a little snippet of black grow grain ribbon and then you're going to need two brads and I'm using the glimmer brads the silver ones they're so pretty and then I'm using Old Olive and this piece is cut at 2 by 9 and you're going to score it at 2 inches, 2 and 3 quarter, 3 and a half, and 4 and a quarter. And that's going to make your waterfall part of your card. So let's go ahead and get our base of our card put together first. So it looks like that. Okay, then you're going to take your strip of black cardstock and you're going to put adhesive on both ends. And this is just going to be a temporary hold until we get the brads. And I'm going to position this about three quarters of the way down on the card. So it looks like that. Okay, so now for the waterfall part of the card, you're going to fold all your score lines. Okay, so the score lines are going to actually face you on the card. And I went ahead already and stamped three of the images just to save time for the video. I stamped the witch's boots, the hat, and the candlestick. And I'm going to stamp the cobweb right now. And this is from the stamp set called Wicked Cool. Very cute stamp set. And I'm going to use the black stays on ink. And I'm going to stamp the cobweb on the fourth whisper white. And then you're just going to go ahead and adhere these two pieces together, the Whisper White and the Black. Okay, so it looks like that. So then all four pieces are going to layer onto your 2 by 9 piece of Old Olive. And the trick to making the waterfall easier to put together, you're going to start at the very bottom of your score line, the last score line on the bottom, and you're just going to run a strip of adhesive at the top and you're going to line that up with the last score line at the bottom like that and then you're just going to work your way up Okay, so once you got that done, then you're going to go ahead and just slide this under that black strip on your card, and you're just going to kind of get a guide here to where you want that waterfall part to be. And then you're going to take your one and one quarter circle punch and just line that up underneath the waterfall part. So it's going to be a pull right here. Sticky strip. I'm just going to apply this right towards the bottom. Peel that off. And then you're going to take your waterfall part of your card and slide that back in underneath that black piece. And you're just going to position that on your card where you want it to go. Like that. You're going to take your 1 16th handheld punch and you're going to punch a hole on either side of your black strip. And then you're going to take your glimmer brads 
and you're just going to add those to those holes. And then you're going to add the bread to the other side. Okay, don't you love it? Okay, so then we're going to pull this out and we're going to stamp a greeting right here on this panel right here that's being pulled out. We're going to stamp the word spooky with the black stays on. Okay. And then the final thing, you're just going to add the little ribbon piece to the bottom of the old olive so they know to pull that when they get the card. And all I'm doing is I'm just folding this piece of ribbon, the grow grain, black grow grain ribbon, and I'm just going to pull that out. And you want to staple it right in the center of that punch out that we did earlier. So then when it's up inside the card, then it's sticking out in the center. See that? So then when they pull it, they know to make that work. Don't you love this card? I love it. Okay, so now let's add some dazzling diamonds to highlight on the spider web. I should have actually done this before I put the card together. There's the waterfall. Ah, so much fun. Okay, so there's the other one I already made. All right, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.